Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market prep video for April 13th, 2020. So, hey everyone, I hope you had a fantastic three day weekend. We had quite a rally last week. Um, actually, um, made some, uh, well, broke some records essentially. We rallied uh, more in one week um, than we did. All, it has to go all the way back to the late 1970s to have seen such a point rally in such a short period of time. And what's interesting is we went from extremely oversold in the T2122 indicator to overbought all in one week. So what comes next? Well, how about we settle in, grab ourselves something to drink. Let's see if we can make some sense out of this and prepare for this week's trading with the Monday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. So this morning we have a really interesting chart to deal with. We've got some circumstances here that could make this a little bit challenging. First off, let's take a look at some of the technicals of the chart. Um, one of the things that I think is always important is we break that downtrend. So we had a break of the downtrend and last week we finally proved a hold of that support rallying up nicely so we currently have an uptrend in play on all four of the indexes trying to show that um, that bullishness in the comeback one of the things that troubles me is we completely have completely ignored the historic jobless numbers and we've really tried to key in um, our market rally on stimulus plans and FOMC $2.3 trillion programs and all of the things that the government is trying to do to move us back up. Certainly that is helpful. You don't want to bet on the Fed. But the thing that concerns me and the thing that's really the unknown here heading into this week is the beginning of second quarter earnings season. So far, we We've been able to pretty much ignore the impacts of unemployment. However, I think it's going to be really, really difficult for the market to ignore the tremendous impacts that we're likely to see in the coming earnings reports. I would be surprised. Anything is possible, but we're going to want to be very, very careful as we approach those earnings reports. Remember, we don't have a benchmark uh, from which to draw reference from. There's no way to really know what happens here. And as a matter of fact, I, I think if a company really tells you that they know where their numbers are actually going to land in the future, they're they're telling you a story too because we don't know how long the impacts of this outbreak here in the United States will continue to affect business. So pretty difficult earnings season coming. Um, it will be interesting to see if companies can even come up with viable numbers, let alone give any kind of guidance forward. Um, now analysts have come out and said somewhere between they expect somewhere between about a 20 percent to more than a 30 percent decline in um, 2020 earnings and they're not expecting any kind of a recovery of that until sometime in 2021 so with that in mind we could have kind of a difficult um, earnings season um, on the way we'll want to watch that pretty closely how we navigate this is going to be, um, well, a day-to-day -day thing as we watch these market reactions. And please keep in mind, it's really not going to be as important um, what the numbers really are as it is to see how the market reacts to those numbers. And we're going to have to really stay on our toes as traders if we're going to take advantage of any of this. And it's probably going to be very volatile, very challenging uh, to trade as we um, respond to some numbers that are likely going to be 
pretty darn disappointing um, overall. So let's take a look at some of the technicals of the chart and see what we've got going. So first off, we see we do have a bullish trend starting to move up and we have challenged some price resistance levels in the chart and that's been a good thing. Um, breaking back above here, you can see the Dow closed above this little level of resistance, managed to hold up there. And although we're showing a pullback this morning, futures at one point last night were down more than 300 points, but they've staged a rally here this morning trying to lift trying to put on a brave face as we head into that earning season but right now we're trying to hold on to that level of support this morning that's a good sign and that is a nice thing to see let's take a look at our averages here now we do have our 50-day moving average substantially higher here and we have recovered our 34 EMA both of those are well, it's bullish that we recovered the 34. It's going to be important that we hold that 34 EMA. If we can rally up there and test that 50-day moving average, that would be amazing. But then we have to um, really fast up to the technical breakdown that we have here in the chart. And that is that our 50-day moving average has not only crossed down its 200-day moving average, but it's crossed down its 500-day moving average. And there is a substantial area of resistance up here that we will have to deal with um, whether we can actually make it up there and test is yet to be seen but if we were to fail in this area we're going to want to watch these levels of price support in here pretty closely if we drop back down below here it's going to be really, really important that we hold on to some of these price support levels in the chart. If they start to fail and give up, then we cannot rule out the idea of a failure up here at the 50-day moving average. We call that a blue ice failure. It is it's a phrase that was coined by um, a trader by the name of David Elliott, a great trader um, who has since passed away. But his, his definition of the blue ice failure is really we fall through the ice. Uh, this is just uh, fall through the ice. We struggle, we climb, we push, we do everything possible to rally back up here to the ice but the hole that we fell through is all the way back here and the possibility that we bump our head on the ice and then drowned and if you see this pattern this is one of my favorite shorting patterns where we fail at the 50 day I can't say that that's going to happen as a matter of fact I'm not even trying to predict that's going to happen but it is a very very common failure pattern in the market and we need to be aware of that and watchful of that and be careful not to be chasing um, such an extended move here in the market let's take a look at the spy real quickly spy similar situation and a little bit stronger you can see spy cracking through some resistance levels here there's still resistance levels above that 500 day um, is likely going to prove to be pretty challenging and notice that our 50 day moving average is likely going to cross down through that 500 day later this week so let's watch that carefully we left behind a little spinning top doji uh, pattern here with a gap away and um, unfortunately this morning we're gapping down just slightly here now if we can hold that price support wonderful then we still have that opportunity to rally but if this were to fail we want to keep an, a close eye on these resistance levels in or support levels in the chart and hopefully we can hold on to them as we um, as we progress back to the downside if we can hold in here if that but if that fails we move down in here and if that fails then watch for a retest of the lows and once again that blue ice failure pattern comes into play where we've rallied back substantially any failure up in here would suggest um, that possibility uh, that lows could be retested so we'll want to watch that close if we take a look at the cues now the cues most definitely the strongest of the markets out there indexes 
And you can see we've come very, very close to testing that 50-day moving average, crossing back above the 200, which is our first index to recover its 200-day moving average. Unfortunately, this morning we're seeing a little bit of bearishness here in the market. We'll see if that can actually hold that 200-day by the end of today. And we have that 50 up here that could provide some 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 resistance and likely to do so along with the price action that we have in the chart so watch that close and then iwm iwm is just plain sick it even though we've rallied up substantially um, a long ways from really showing recovery here in iwm but technically the pattern is sound we've moved up higher low so we do have that uptrend and we've broken through this resistance right in here so any pullback in here that holds that support moves over here toward the trend could be bullish however if we give that up or start failing back down through that trend that's where we're going to have some problems in the chart and we'll want to keep a close eye on that so with that let's take a look at the vix the VIX has pulled back substantially, and you can see pulling all the way back. We're at about a 40 handle here on the VIX, certainly having given up um, a, a whole lot of the fear in the market. And if I put some drawings on here, you can see we're pulling back into this area right in here, a little bit of price support right through there. And that 50 day moving average, we're going to want to watch that pretty closely if we happen to catch a bounce off of this area and that could occur easily with some bad earnings reports that come out this week so let's keep that in mind and watch that pretty closely we don't want to be rushing in blindly particularly after such a big rally last week a little pullback a little profit taking a little selling wouldn't be all that odd as a matter of fact it would be technically a good thing if we pull back and actually prove to hold supports before we push for more rally but that may not be the case so let's watch that carefully but let's um, also keep a close eye on this VIX if that fear starts to creep back up and it may if we get some selling coming in let's take a look at t2122 now this is the one that gives me one of the bigger concerns right now today we went from an extremely oversold condition there's just no doubt about it we were in an extreme oversold situation here in the chart down here in this bullish reversal zone but in one fell swoop, we rallied all the way back up here to our bearish reversal zone. And we're pegged up here near 100 um, at the close of Friday. So can we stay up here? Yes, um, we've proven that we can reach these zones and we can bounce around in here. So there's no uh, particular um, indication here that we just sink all the way straight back down. Um, we could bounce around up in here attempting to hold and as those earnings come out if those earnings start to shake um, market confidence or things that's when we could see selling come in so just keep that in mind and watch that closely if we can hang out up here that would be awesome but don't rule out the possibility that we could see some sellers coming in as well let's take a look at our economic calendar for today and we don't have really anything on our calendar to be to be worried about um, today at least at this point we don't have anything to be worried about you can see we've got are uh, a couple of bond auctions uh, going off here this morning so no major situation that would be of concern um, so far today we do have there will be a g7 video conference today of the g7 countries you know talking about virus and impacts and things like that there could certainly be some news that comes out of that 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 might move us around but nothing major and as you can see as we move forward in the week probably going to be a little bit tenuous as we reach into these retail sales empire state manufacturing industrial production business inventories market housing and that petroleum status report so we've got a big week coming on wednesday let alone housing starts jobless claims and the philly fed so kind of a big midweek on that economic calendar 
further to be uh, focused on. But so far, um, today and tomorrow shouldn't be any major impacts in that economic calendar. On our earnings front, we have about 46 companies reporting earnings today. Um, nothing in there that's really particularly notable for the day, but we will want to keep an eye on those. And as we progress through the week, we're going to start getting those earnings from the big banks. You know, when we start looking at BAC, you can see BAC on the 15th, Citibank on the 15th we've got wfc coming in here on the 14th we've got goldman sachs coming in on the 15th so as we start seeing those big banks report that's kind of the official kickoff to earning season i can't imagine that we're going to see um, really um, wonderful numbers out of these companies let's hope they're really good at it at managing numbers obviously being in the bank so hopefully it's not devastating but we'll want to watch that pretty closely as those earnings results start to come out um, I don't think anyone's expecting uh, anything um, beautiful coming out of those numbers so watch those closely so with that everyone I want to wish you all a fantastic day in your trading, and I want to wish you all of the best. Hopefully, I, this finds everyone safe. Um, I can tell you our family here at Right Way Options has now um, actually seen some impacts uh, from the coronavirus with one of our members um, um, having a father-in-law uh, pass away due to the coronavirus so our hearts go out to them and um, we really want to draw together as a group um, and try to stay supportive of each other and protective um, I, I just you know we've got a troubling time here ahead of us and um, it's going to be a, a probably a far-reaching troubling time and we need to stick together um, as traders try to support each other try to help each other as much as possible and do our very best job to stay optimistic and looking to the future so with that I want to ask you guys if you could do me a favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then click that bell icon when it pops up so that you can be notified every time I post one of these videos and I want to give a huge shout out to the current subscribers to the channel thank you so much this weekend we went over 10,000 subscribers thank you guys you guys you guys are awesome and it really comes down to you guys clicking those thumbs up buttons leaving those uh, comments it makes all the difference in the world thank you so much you guys um, it's extremely humbling and I truly truly appreciate it so with that how about we take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up one of the things you're gonna have to be really careful with though as we move forward is as we approach those earnings anything is possible and as I mentioned before there's really no benchmark for this current crisis that we see in the market there's there's no way to know we and as a matter of fact we just don't even know how long it's going to go although there's a lot of a, a talk from some officials that um, numbers are not growing as fast as they expected and and we may start being able to reopen the country here um, in May there still is a lot of uncertainty out there and the president has, has come out and said that he is going to um, rely on the health officials to tell him how because there's real concern if we reopen um, things that we just spread the virus even faster and as we've seen in some of the numbers out there even China is getting a resurgence they reported more than 100 cases yesterday now they claim most of that is coming from foreign uh, coming in from the outside but certainly we're a long ways away from defeating this virus and the path forward may be kind of cloudy so be really careful if you decide to trade and how you trade and think very carefully about the risk that you take in these positions but there are some really nice charts out there I think to mention and, and ones I want to pay attention to and maybe bring up here for today one being Pfizer now Pfizer is one of those you know big old stodgy old companies and uh, certainly in the the health field the drug field um, which can make it kind of volatile 
But as you can see, Pfizer has moved up nicely, broke its downtrend. And this week, if this can get any kind of a rest, consolidation, or pullback, a consolidation would be wonderful, show lots of strength in here. Then we would have an opportunity in a chart like that. Just that little bit of resting pullback. Another place I think we probably should look is we probably should look to energy. As you guys heard, we... Um, OPEC reached a historic deal. They're cutting 9.7 million barrels of oil production. It's a historic cut. That should help support oil prices. So you may want to look to the oil sector for that opportunity to maybe catch a potential trade where those show uh, may show some strength. Watch that closely. We certainly have patterns here that are starting to develop into bullish patterns. There's the break of the downtrend. It's holding its support. We have rallied strongly. I do think this needs a little rest or consolidation in here. It's going to be hard to chase this many days up, but news can definitely change things watch this little price resistance area right here if we can move through there we've got a gap to fill to the upside so keep a close eye on that and if we look at our moving average technicals right up in here is where we'd run into that 50-day moving average so watch that watch that closely um, I'm currently holding this position I'm up um, very nicely in this trade more than 25% since um, I entered this trade down in here and looking really really good so I wanted to let you know I want just for full disclosure that I am actually holding that and I do think we will see some upside moves in those I think another place to look would be into some of the technicals we've seen really good moves and particularly in stocks like Microsoft Microsoft moving back above its 50-day moving average and I love the fact that we're holding on to that 50-day moving average as this moves back over here into this trend if that can continue to rest out in here um, you might want to watch that for some upside um, in the chart reclaiming that 50-day moving average and proving to hold it as support is a pretty big deal so let's keep an eye on that um, other techs out there like NVIDIA having reclaimed its 50. A lot of bouncing around, a lot of volatility still in these charts. That means that it's going to be challenging, that there's danger in these. And keep in mind, we have to focus on when those earnings are coming out. But there may be some short-term charts in here holding on to trend. If the bulls can take a hold of this, push on up into that next level of resistance in the chart. So just a few charts for you to maybe keep an eye on. Um, I really like this AMD as well crossing back up through its 50 now trying to pull back and show some support here so we do have a trend in this chart trying to hold on to that price support any rest or consolidation in here that holds moves over toward this trend gives us that upside opportunity so keep an eye on this and and notice that these this doesn't report until 5 5 so there's still upside potential in these charts Everyone, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. Be safe, be careful, stay safe, and we'll see you right back here bright and early, bright and early Tuesday morning. Have a good one, everyone.